Hello friends! Alright, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I've got a haul for you. I went back in for Teddy B's RTS and got some goodies. I also want to share at the end, I'm going to show you some Teddy B's that I got in the D stash. I also want to share with you that my f sweet friend, Natalie, sent me some Scentsy... cotton cleanups, which I love. Uh, so thank you so much for sending me those. I think the chickens went a little crazy on your package, Natalie, but don't worry. The cotton cleanups are okay. But man, those chickens, like anything that gets near them, they just think that they can have it. I, you know, there's no talking to a clucking chicken. So just saying, but the cotton cleanups are okay. So thank you so much for sending those to me. I do appreciate it so much. I think that's so kind of you. I love those. I love not getting my hands dirty. So with that being said, let me show you the boxes I got. And then at the end, we'll do the de-stash items that I got. Because there's a couple items in there. Two boxes. I got the one earlier than the other. So I really couldn't share this with you because I didn't have it all. And I've been busy with work. And I just... Hadn't felt like I was in the mood to do it this weekend. It's been sitting here since Friday. I know, this one I literally haven't opened. I haven't smelled anything. I've been dying. Um, but today is Tuesday. And uh, yesterday, my son, uh, I just had a busy day. From 6 a.m. until 7 p.m., I wasn't home. My son had his, he goes twice a year to Rochester in Mayo. Mayo, Rochester. Uh, he has... Crohn's disease so we go in and touch base and make sure everything's stable with him and it's just a long day you know it's a two hour and 20 minute drive which I'm so thankful that it's close enough that we can get great care there very very blessed okay he's very blessed obviously but and he has a very thorough mother <laughs> okay that's not the right box <laughs> let me grab the other box that goes with this one sorry I wasn't paying attention but as soon as I opened it I realized it so this and this. So I was wondering why I got two because I haven't opened this one. And I was just like, I, thought I was hoping that I wasn't going to go crazy and that could fit in all one box. Of course, this big box. This came box on Friday or Thursday or something. And then this came Friday. Of course, my husband was home. So I believe I ordered tubs with a few souffles. That's kind of how I went in with this one. Some of these are repeat, so we're not going to go crazy in depth with them. So when I went in the first one, the, they didn't ship the two orders like together. Like some of these are from one, some are from another, but some of these I went in specific because I hadn't had them before. So let's start with one that I went back in for. I have two of these and crispy drink. Now I ordered one and then I totally spaced when I went in for the second time that I actually already got it. So it's okay. I was only going to get one more because I already have one of these. But it doesn't, I'm okay with what I got because it's amazing to me. This is just a great, sweet cinnamon bakery. This is warm powdered donuts, cinnamon sugar donuts, old fashioned cake donuts, burnt sugar, and toasty campfire donuts. I just smell a great cinnamon bakery donut with a little bit of smokiness in it. This is so, so good. I don't know if everybody loved it as much as I did, but I really enjoy it. I don't get any burnt anything from this. It is just amazing. So, like I said, I was only going back from, I wanted one, but then when I went in the second time, I spaced out that I got that, so it's okay. So, then I have three more that I have not smelled before. So, let's start with Waffle Bomb, which is berry waffle cone, pumpkin pecan waffles, funnel cake, and powdered sugar. Oh, this is yummy. I definitely get the berry waffle cone. Is this the one that's the berry waffle cone dupe, I think, or is there a different one? But this is yummy. Oh, I love berry waffle cone, like that crunchy, crunchy waffle cone. And I get, honestly, I smell mostly that. I don't smell a ton of really pe pumpkin pecan waffles. And I get like a powdery sugar note. So that's what I was smelling on this one. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I'm excited. 
like I said, yesterday was a long day. Today I worked and then I came home from work early because I had to get my son, my other son to an interview, which now both of my boys are working. I'm so proud of them. I just, I mean, I, my husband and I were both working well before we were 15 at other jobs and then both started working in the workforce at 15. And I just think, I just have an opinion that kids should work and we have a lot of shortages lately. I cannot even begin to fathom or understand why we have so many shortage. Like there's so many jobs looking for so many people. And my son went, like they had a recruiting day a couple weeks ago and then they called him for a second interview. His second interview was like five minutes and I was like, uh, did that not go well? And he's like, yeah, I got the job. Dude, good pay, everything. I do not understand why people don't wanna work, uh, but I don't get it. All right, anyway, the next one is Spun Sugar. Natalie got this, and so I was like, she loved this, raved about it, and I'm like, why didn't I get this? I don't know. Cotton Candy Clouds, Beach Treats, Cashmere Cream. I think this one was a little bit more because of the cashmere cream oil is increased in price. This is a dreamy, creamy amazingness. Wow, the Cotton Candy with the cashmere, and it says Beach Treats, which is her beach nights. I don't really smell a lot of that, but man, this cashmere and the cotton candy i really like that uh natalie i agree this is amazing i don't know i have not you were the only person that i saw haul this one so i'm glad i watched you and snagged this one i'm gonna move my cotton cleanups out of the way here because there's a lot of tubs here or as drew calls them potato salad containers and i'm okay with that all right this one is because of lexi this is summer of love this is mango tangerines oh my gosh Okay, I am, this print is so dang small for my eyes. Literally, this is ridiculous. Mango tangerines, dragon fruit, papaya, jasmine, and coconut leaves. She has the pour dates on here. The scent notes are too small for my eyes. But she said if you love mango, which I do, that you should try this. And I'm glad I did. This is very interesting. I don't know why this spells mango fresh to me. What's in this? Is it the jasmine maybe? I smell mango, but like fresh floral in this I'm not mad at this but it really smells like you opened your windows and are smelling like all these fruits coming in this is very interesting I am very excited to try this I love that mango but I, and I really like that freshness of this so thank you for that suggestion okay now the rest are the tubs okay so I'm just gonna look here, I think. Okay, this one I've had. I'm just gonna pull out the ones I've had before. I think I had this one. Okay, so that other one wasn't a dupe. So the one, the waffle bomb is different than this because this is actually the berry waffle cone. Okay. this one this one I had okay oh, okay so these are the ones I've had before milk and cookies is the most amazing milk cookie crunchy cookie blend ever I've had this multiple times I was down to my last bag so I went back for another one oh my gosh this just makes me hungry oh it's so this is one of my ultimate, ultimate favorite bakeries of all. Like, so, so, so good. She also has milk and cookies with zucchini bread that is phenomenal. So, this is just amazing to me. And I think I closed the bag. Yes, I did. Okay. I got two summer, or strawberry lover's dream, which is fresh strawberries, sugar cookies, strawberry frosting, and moist cake. I know a lot of you, some of you that I watched didn't like this. I shouldn't say a lot, but... I think this is a great strawberry bakery blend. Oh, to me, it just is so good. It literally smells like strawberry, almost like jello or pulp cake. If you've ever had that, that's where you take the white cake and you kind of bake it and then you stab it and then you pour strawberry or whatever jello you want on it, which would be strawberry in this case, and then put whipped cream frosting on it. That's kind of what I get. Maybe you don't like that, but I absolutely love poke cake. My sister introduced me to that when our kids were really little, and it just gives me another amazing fond memory of my sister, so I love that. Okay, next up is blackberry butter pecan cookies. Actually, I haven't had this one. I've had 
Oh, yes, I have. Blackberry butter. Because, yes, I have. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I have had this. Okay, this is butter pecan, or butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam cookies. I love this. I actually had saved my plastic. Like, I emptied this and then saved it. So I knew to order it again, and as soon as she had this, I'm like, yeah, I want more of it because I saved that container or the plastic bag, and I'm like, if I save that, it means I want it. So I'm so glad I got that one. Cozy Cookie Lake, which is warm, iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow, fireside, and signature cookies. Did I get this last time? I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. I don't remember now. I know some of these I did, but maybe I didn't get this last time. Oh, my gosh. This is Cookies and Beach Nights. Mm, her beach nights is good so good i like there's two vendors that i really love their beach nights she's the second one but um she does more with um the like beach nights bakery blood so i really enjoy that okay and then summer summer circus cookies which is strawberry pound cake with frosted lemon circus cookies this is a phenomenal phenomenal lemon cookie bit this is just so good. Oh my gosh. I get more lemon in this, but I definitely can smell the strawberry pound cake. Oh my God. Oh, this is just so good. If you love lemon with like a cake, pound cake, that's what this is. I'm not getting a lot of strawberry right now, but it's this was poured um, July 12th. So, I mean, I usually don't warm my stuff right away. I leave, I have found with Teddy B's that I've warmed it right away, like within two weeks of it curing, but I've just found if I let it go for a couple months, it does change. I have just, I like to go through my drawers and smell my scents, and I just have found that that stuff changes, so I, I really enjoy it. Okay, so there is one sample in here. I love you to the moon and back. I don't know what this one is. Mmm, this is interesting. It almost smells like fresh something fresh to me i'll have to look up the scent notes on that one okay now if if i remember correctly i've not had these before okay so um i'm gonna save these two for last because i think some of these were the newer ones that she offered so she had some that were from the pre-order but then she ended up offering new ones this rts so this one I didn't get from the pre-order is Tiff's Twisted Sunday Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Pecan Waffles, Pretzels, Vanilla Ice Cream, Whipped Cream. So a lot of people raved about this, so I'm like, I need to try this. Oh, this is very much Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Wow. Which I'm not mad at. Cupcakes at Tiffany's can be tough for me because I don't love a lot of the blends. But a lot of people really like this. But honestly... I'm getting a little bit of a, why am I getting like a burnt smell? What is in there? Is there something chocolatey in this or something? I don't know. Oh, I don't know about this one. I honestly smell something burnt from this. Or is it the pretzel like that is giving me a burnt scent? I don't know. I'm going to have to smell this again in a couple weeks because I don't know about that one. Okay. Drew raved about this one. And banana spice. This one is vanilla pound cake banana, caramel, cinnamon, and vanilla buttercream. So I was like, okay, I love banana scents, but I may have to say, let's see if I can pop this out. If I can't pop this out, I'm just going to go off of the, what I smell here. This honestly smells like another vendor's banana scent to me. Exactly. If you want to know what that is, just let me, just leave a comment and I'll tell you. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. It just some of these seem to be very similar to me, and maybe you don't love one vendor over another, so maybe this would be another option for some. It's a very good banana bakery scent. I, that's what I smell. It's just a banana bakery, so it's good. It's just, I have something very similar that that exactly reminds me of. So let's do Tiff's favorite coffee. This is sweet cream bakery dough, rich espresso. Sugar and spice topped with frothy milk. Oh, I don't know about this one. Oh, this is definitely heavy on the coffee. Oh, I don't know. You know, sometimes when you order because you have FOMO or other people love something and you get it because they love it, 
And then you're like, mm, I should have just stuck with what I love and what I don't love. And I don't know. I don't know about this one. I will. How about I come back to those t two of Tiff's favorites? Because, I, yeah, I'm not really sure what I think about those right now. Okay. Berry waffle cone, obviously, I love, which is sweet berries, fresh baked waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Uh, this was poured August 5th, which is my son's birthday. And this is great. Mm, that just reminds me of my candle. I'm very happy with that. I just honestly I have two candles going right now, so I think I will I will actually do this soon. Um, I mean, or oh, I'm sorry, it was August third. The print is so small I couldn't read it. I think I will probably warm that sooner than later because I have two of those candles out right now, and I would like to have something with that. Okay, Bonfire Nights. I don't think I have this one. This is Bonfires Cashmere Vanilla Sandalwood and Marshmallow. I think is this. I don't know. I love smoky ones, and I think I watched Natalie, and she loves smoky as well, and I'm all about that. I've watched a lot of hauls, though. I do follow a lot of people and love so many people, and I do search Teddy Bee's hauls and try to find new people, so it's not just, I'm not just watching the same people over and over. I do search Teddy Bee hauls before I order, like in her RTSs, because I do tend to watch a specific amount of people, but then I want to open you know, like open your horizons and listen to other people that maybe have more scent preferences that are like you. But if you want bonfire, this is smoky. I definitely get, it just smells like you're literally sitting next to a fire that you built in the summertime. This is great. I, this is amazing. I love this. I wish I would have gotten this in a loaf because this, I just, I do love smoky scents as well. Happy to have that. Okay. Now, this one is all because of Natalie. This is Little Pumpkin Beach Party. It's Beach Nights, Pumpkin Cupcakes, and Marshmallow Fluff. Now, she had said that she had requested this. And, um, so she went in and asked for this one to be poured. I've never had it. Uh, this, is, this is really good. This is definitely Beach Nights with like a creamy pumpkin. Oh, it's really good. I hope that she does this in the next pre-order because I know Natalie missed it. I'm sorry, Natalie. It's really good. It's definitely a creamy pumpkin and then you get the beach nights. It's very good. Very good. I love, love beach nights. And this is just a nice like fall scent. You know I'm a summer girl, but that's like, okay, if you're going to make me transition, that'll be a transition scent into fall because I hate fall. Because then I know... Winter is coming. Okay. Okay. I think these were the new ones. This one is November rain. It's green leaves, clean air, moss, vetiver, dew drops, cranberry, citrus, and hints of mint and pear. A little bold for me based on the scent notes, but sometimes when you smell something, it's not. So let's see. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is like a clean green scent and I mean that in the sense of like you go outside and there's dew and it's rained and it's green but the freshness of like rain and dew drops wow I wish I could get some of these to pop out I think because they've been in my studio for a couple days oh there we go they're not as easy to pop out because they're in a nice temperature room here I mean the air is on it's cool in here not so cool under these dang lights sometimes Okay, on the bottom, oh, it's a very nice green scent. Literally, like, I don't like clean in the sense of, like, laundry, but this is, this literally smells like you're outside on an amazing, amazing day that there was just rain. And it's, like, coming off of the tree or the plant that you're standing by. Oh, my gosh. If you like green scents, I... I think you would really, really enjoy this. I could be wrong, but I thought that one was new. Okay, then I got sugared cider, which is which is old-fashioned sugar cookies, a hint of cinnamon and sugar and cider donuts. Because I love her milk and cookies, I thought I wanted to try this one. Oh, yeah. And I went back to see if I could get more of this, and it was already gone. I mean, there's so many of those new scents. I don't, you know, And I don't know how much she made, so, like, they sold it really quick. Oh, this reminds me of something, but I don't know what. I definitely get a sugar cookie. Again, like you're, you take them out of the oven and they're crispy and you take a bite of them. 
it's almost a it reminds me a little bit of milk and cookies but without the milk like like that milk note this is really good it's like making my mouth water and the cinnamon is not heavy cinnamon at all oh this is good and a little bit like I can totally see like why they say cider because I kind of get like a fresh cider donut scent in this this is really good I'm happy to have grabbed that and the last one I got and then I'll show you after this, I will show you what I grabbed in the D-Stash groups. So Twisted Witch, which is birthday cake, pecan waffles, touch of spice, warm donuts, and dark cranberries. Oh, this is a little bold for me because of cranberries, but oh, this is very interesting. Wow, this is, this reminds me of something. Mm, what does it remind me of? I'm going to have to think about it unless I can smell the bottom and Mmm, the cranberry in this is, like, you definitely get the cranberry. Is this a dupe for something? Does anybody know? This is really good. That you, I definitely can get a cake. I get the, the like, a nutty waffle, like a bakery scent. And then you do get this cranberry in it. Oh, and it's not, like, spicy. It just adds something to this. Has anyone had this and warmed this? Um, I don't know if Alexis, is this the one that you had that you got like four souffles in or something? I can't remember. I know you said you loved, loved one and that you got you know so much in it and she doesn't generally pour it. I don't remember if this was the one, but this is very unique. If you like any of those scents and you're just trying, want to try a cranberry with just a hint of it and the darkness of it makes it very rich. I think this would be very interesting. This is going to be very unique. I cannot wait to warm this one. So, okay. You think that was enough? Well, that's what I got, you know, like, okay. So before, if you leave, okay, you can check out, I'm going to show you what I got in my D stash, but I want to show you my nails first. Cause if you don't follow me on Instagram, I did a reel on there. I am like all about neon and leopard and I'm not giving up on summer. So this is my protest. Okay. All right. So these, okay. So this is one I found just this one. Okay. So this, I think I might have another one too. I might have to look quick or I, I might have one more. Okay. This is cookies for Santa, a blend of frosted sugar cookies and milk and cookies. So I just wanted, this is really good. The frosted sugar cookies just adds a frost, like a frosting on top of those your milk and cookies. This is really good. This was poured in a year ago, October. So I will work on warming that this fall. I look forward to warming this. I love anything with milk and cookies. Okay. Then I got the trifecta, which I had her last pre-order. I had ordered a souffle in this and love this. So this one is cashmere cream, coconut clouds, strawberry boom boom. So this is really, really good. The boom boom you get, I don't really get, honestly, I can't smell a ton of strawberry in this. And then you get the cashmere. I don't know, this is really good. I wonder if maybe that one, the middle layer, because this honestly doesn't this look like the ocean. I wonder if there's more strawberry on that middle. But this is really good, so I want it. She had these items in the D stash, and I was like, just add this, I'm fine. Like, yep, let's just get it. Okay, so then. Um, laid on the beach, which is a, a blend of beach treats and marshmallow and magnolia. So laid on the beach. This is really good. I've never had this because I was afraid of like the magnolia, but I definitely get beach nights and marshmallow, um, like marshmallow, boardwalk marshmallow, like clouds. This is really good. Again, you really can't go wrong when you get a souffle because if you don't love it, then you just like, it's a souffle size. If you love it, then next time try for more. Okay, I had a souffle in this. I wanted more. This is abracadabra. This is pink sugar. Magic is in the air. And let them eat cake. I don't know what that other blend is, but this is really good. I don't get a ton of pink sugar, which I'm happy about. But I don't know what that other scent note is. But it almost reminds me a little bit of like a Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud Bakery. This is really good. I love the coloring on this. And this was poured... March of 2022. So like I said, because I've just found that a souffle isn't always, like if I do it in my bedroom bathroom, I can get away with this. But sometimes I need a little more if I'm gonna do it in a different space. 
This one, I hope she does this in the next pre-order. This is tricking her and treating. It's purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, boardwalk marshmallow, and vanilla cake pops. Doesn't that just sound amazing? Because it is, if you love boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Oh my gosh, look at the little polka dots. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, how cool. So I have had this. This is honestly, I I like pink sugar if it's not too prominent. And this one with the blue sugar, it is so good. If you love those scent notes, this is definitely, I enjoy this a lot. Okay. So she did include some samples and another item that I got, but that's not um, from this vendor. Um, so I'm not going to show you. Let me see. I think I have one more. I found it. <laughs> so this is from Sweet Brittany. She actually included some other items in here. So maybe I'll share that on Instagram because it was so sweet. She added some other items and she gave me just an awesome little card here. So I'm going to share the Teddy Bees part with you. And then she, like I said, she included some random like act of kindness stuff in there and a very sweet card. So I got this because she had Surfside Sweet Shop. I really wanted this. I actually, I tried getting it in the RTS, but you know how everything sells out. And um, so she had this left and I was like, yes, please, because I just really enjoy this. This is birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach treats, which is her beach night. So it's just so good. And I finished it and needed more. So then she had two other items. So I was like, okay, twist my arm. And this is I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats, which is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, boardwalk marshmallow, and beach treats. So I never had this. And again, why am I so obsessed with beach nights lately? I don't know. But so pretty. And I just think these are great for like my bedroom bathroom scents. And so I just went a little crazy. Last but not least is kind of bad, kind of bougie, which is strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar, and vanilla sugar cookie. Mm. I'm usually not like a strawberry pound cake. Like, I like it. I'm just not like as obsessed as some people are. I know that's so shocking. But like for me, I would like beach tree or beach night or like a cookie. I just, but strawberry pound cake is not my Achilles, you know? I love smoky scents, those kind of things. This is good. I'm happy to try this. We'll see how it warms. Um, but it's not like as a, you know, you think that I got enough? I think I did. I have a friggin' problem. Anyway, that's what I got. That was like a lot and I need to rein it in. I am really being good about orders. You are going to see some, but you're going to obviously, as my videos have shown, like they're a little bit more self-control. But when Teddy Bees does her pre-order, you know, it's probably going to be like, I think my strategy next time is because in the pre-order, I spent just a very small amount. If you watch that video, um, and I then went crazy during the RTS, which is, should be not that way. Like I should have planned better. And then if I don't like something, there was always D sashes and Teddy Bees D sash as well. And so I think I just need to go about it a little differently. Like, okay, I'll try this in the souffle. If I love it, then at least I have it. And then if I can grab it a little bit more in the RTS, that works. So I think I'm going to go about it a little different when she does the pre-order. And if it's a new scent to me, um, but this is ridiculous, you guys, like, but I love it and I'm going to happily melt it. And I have no shame in my game, really. Um, especially when it comes to certain vendors, like I, especially when Teddy Bees only does like four, is it four pre-orders in the year? And then four RTSs, I, I tend to do, you know, get quite a bit because I love it. It performs well for me. Um, so especially in the summer, like when I have air conditioners and go with my main air conditioner, you know, it's central, but um, if it can perform well in the summer with that, th then it does really well for me in the winter. So like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.